It won't be long until the school bell rings, but right now parents are figuring out the math when it comes to buying books, folders, pens and paper. Phones and computers and tablets and it's a lot more money now. I probably spend a good $500 for my classroom. In a CNET money survey, 43% of back to school shoppers say they plan on using a credit card to pay for supplies this year. But before you rack up more debt, here are a few ways to keep spending on budget. First, download price tracking browsers like Camel Camel Camel, Keepa, or the School Supplies app. And sign up to receive alerts when a price drops on something you need on your shopping list. Download a cashback browser like Rakuten so you can get money back on everything you buy. Don't forget about buying used. Save as much as 60% on refurbished laptops and tablets on Amazon Renewed. As for your college kid, textbooks can really add up. The College Board found the average cost of books and supplies for college runs on average $1,200. Campus Books is a search engine and price comparison tool to help locate the best prices for books. There are plenty of places to buy used textbooks on the web. Chegg.com and textbooks.com are just a few. Project Gutenberg offers more than 60,000 free ebooks you can download. I'm Alexa Lorenzo reporting.